Well, obviously, my main interest was uh, on our uh, project presented in the late breaking session on the final day on Friday, which is uh, thrombolysis in patients that were uh, on direct oral anticoagulation. Because in my clinical uh, perspective, this is a very relevant problem. Uh, we know that one in six patients has uh, previous uh, oral anticoagulation, and most of them uh, DOAX. And, um, the percentage even increases because there is novel indications such as pulmonary embolism, but also the compass regimen um, and others. Uh, so this percentage is going to go up. And in those patients who qualify for thrombolysis so that have a severe deficit or an NHSS of four or higher and present in the early time window, the percentage is even higher. So this raises the question whether we can uh, offer thrombolysis to those. As you know, DOAC therapy currently is a absolute contraindication uh, in the ESO guideline, but also in the AHA guideline. If a recent intake was within 48 hours, and there are some exceptions, such as uh, offering reversal uh, with Praxbind uh, in the patients taking the Bigatran or measuring uh, DOAC plasma levels and then offering thrombolysis if they are low. However, we know from our uh, stroke community that many of the small centers, they have uh, dark levels not available at nighttime. And also in Switzerland and other countries, the Bigatran is not widely used, so we cannot reverse them. And you know that previously VKA was a contraindication. Now 1.7 or lower, you can thrombolize them. You know that dual antiplatelets was a contraindication. And all those contraindications have been overcome by using observational data. And I think this project uh, with over 800 patients receiving thrombolysis um, shows that if we use selection approaches such as the plasma level reversal, but even in patients that did neither of those, we can safely thrombolize. And this raises the question whether we can uh, remove previous or uh, recent intake of DOAX as an absolute contraindication in those patients. That's ongoing. We're currently finalizing the manuscript. And obviously, there needs to be uh, more data on this. So uh, we're setting up a prospective registry uh, to follow up on patients receiving thrombolysis despite um, DOAC therapy.